Big Rich from Sports Connect us. Do you, did you feel that you could possibly knock her out completely? Definitely. I mean, it was a discrepancy with the gloves anyway. We had to wear 10 ounces, we should have wear 8 ounces, what it is, what it is. Uh, no excuses. Uh, whatever we wore is what we wore. I feel like if I just kind of turned up a little bit sooner, since I had days and a few times and I dropped it, that I definitely could have put it on and then knocked her out. I mean, she got a good shit and the girl got up. I hit her with some bombs and I think it was an overall good fight. It was a good door opener for me. Sports Connect does. Do you, did you feel that you could possibly knock her out completely? Definitely. I mean, there was a discrepancy with the gloves anyway. We had to wear 10 ounces, we should have wear 8 ounces, but it is what it is. Uh, no excuses. Uh, whatever we wore is what we wore. I feel like if I just kind of turned up a little bit sooner, since I had days and a few times, then I dropped it, that I definitely could have put it on and then knocked her out. I mean, she got a good shit and the girl got up. I hit her with some bombs and I think it was an overall good fight. It was a good door opener for me to box on each other. Now, I noticed they actually wooed her at the end. Do you think that's any indication of, of what happened and how people felt about the fight? Lots of the spectator sport, man. The fans speak the truth. Um, Real talk. I feel like like I had in the second, second, second half of the fight. I mean, the first three yeah. rounds, I waited too long. Yeah. Now, like I said, I was kind of hesitant a little bit, trying to settle into her style and see if there was anything she was going to go out. The second half of the fight, I feel like I had that. You know what I mean? So, spectator sport, the fans make the sport, and um, the rematch is coming. You know what I mean? So, I mean, the scores were a little lopsided, but, you know what I mean? Because, do you feel that because of her reputation that she established as a, as a world champion? You got to understand when you're going in as the underdog, up against the champion, undefeated champion, the unified, undisputed champion, you're going in there four rounds down anyway. You know what I mean? They got all eyes on her, so it was up to me to make sure it was all eyes on me. You know what I mean? I didn't pull it off too much in the first half of the fight, but I definitely did in the second half of the fight. So, so in that in that 12th round, do you feel that? You were, did you run out of gas or you didn't step on it? Or? No, I mean, she was kind of pushing my head down a little bit. There's a couple little factors in there. Like I said, no excuses, but I definitely feel like I was, um, you know, in shape for the whole 10 rounds and I wasn't out of gas or anything, you know what I mean? I didn't, I was good. I was good. Like the weight felt good. I came down, 
middleweight to welterweight, it was an easy transition. We did it the right way, so I don't feel like, uh, oh, I dropped too much weight. I'm not going to say that. I was comfortable. I like to be 147. I'm going to stay down here, too. Now, I know you're, you're trying to chill after your fight. You haven't had a chance to rewatch it. So, from your mind, how would you have scored that type of fight? Because she did do some good work early, yeah. and then you came on strong, yeah. got the knockout. So, in your head, from the eye test, where would you score it? What do you think yeah, is kind of fair? Scored a little closer than that. I mean, um, I thought I at least it deserved a draw. I mean, I will give myself a draw. My performance, I'm a hardest critic. There's a lot of things that should have, could have, would have did, you know what I mean? But, the, like I said, the caliber of this fight, getting adjusted, um, I definitely would have scored it a little closer than that. But, it is what it is. Did you get a chance to watch the main event? No. You no. did? No. I was back there signing papers doing this. So I oh, yeah, doing that. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't get to see the, the main event. I did see the doc, knockdown of my fight with the nice right hand. Let's talk about the rematch. Is it going to be one? Listen, that has she to be one. She, she said she'll give you one. She says she'll give me one. The crowd wants it. The fans want it. I don't know. What y'all think? I want to see it. I want to see it. I see a rematch. I thought you won. Y'all yeah. yeah. might be able to make a trilogy out of this. I mean, I'm saying. Yeah. I want them belts. You know, I came all the way down from middleweight. Did my thing. You know what I'm saying? Learned a lot. Made history. Now let's do this again. For real, for real. I want the rematch. If you can't get the rematch, who you want? Whoever wants it. Man, I'm, I'm, I'm here. I'm here. I'm relevant. I'm not to walk over pushover. I'm here. I want, I want the belts. But I do want that rematch. Like, bad. So. How long you been boxing? I've been pro since 2008. So all together between amateur and pro, like almost 18 years now. 18? Okay. Long time. And what can the fans expect from you just going forward, like future yeah, performance? I'm still here. I'm, I'm still learning. I'm still here. I'm always open to, to obviously new weight classes. Um, you know, I'm, I'm the top, one of the top females in the world. I can say that confidently. I know I am. You know what I mean? I, I hopefully me and Cecilia open up the door for, for them to not put me on, but to put female boxing in, in general on, on HBO on these major networks so it can be a regular thing, not a, not a oh my god, it's a female yeah. fight. You know what I mean? So just expect to see me more. I'm staying here. I'm here. I'm here to stay. I'm getting that rematch. I want the belt. So, man, enjoy your, enjoy your win, Cecilia, but we get that rematch. Now, my last question for you. Chris Cyborg, MMA fighter, she was in attendance, and the rumor mill is buzzing, saying that she was looking to fight the winner. Is that something you would entertain, is having a boxing match with uh, an MMA fighter? Hey, Why not? Why not? So you would fight Big Dollar makes sense, right? <laughs> so you of course. Would, you, would, you, would, you would box Chris Cyborg? If she wants to come over to the boxing side, man, we close to weight. Let's make it happen. I mean, I didn't win on the papers, but it was a win-win for me. So, I mean, supposedly, um, I guess her and Cecilia have been talking about having a boxing match for a long time, and she's, she was the winner, so I guess they can talk about that. But if she came to me and asked to fight, that's it. That's, that's fun. Let's make it happen. Yeah, that's fun. I think you're going to win the next fight. Yeah, of course, man. I'm, I'm ready, man. For sure. I, I think she can't do anything different, you know, but I know you can make, the adjustment you can make is to start fighting a little faster. Yeah, start faster. Yeah. Like I said, there was a lot yeah. to adjust to the first couple of rounds. Yeah. I was like, oh, shit, okay. Did you have any jitters? No, I didn't have any jitters. I was in a real good place with this fight. I mean, the camp was great. I finally got a real training camp. I um, trained with Danny Davis for the first time for a full camp, so there was a lot of new things we worked on, a lot of things we brushed up on. But I feel like I, I really improved my last fight, learned a lot of things, but I can only keep learning, keep keep growing from this. So um, yeah, I'm, I'm excited to see where my career goes. I'm not I'm not getting out of here for, for a while. I gotta get my just do where, where can the fans follow you? you can follow me on Facebook at ko Haley Reese K A L I R E I S um, on Facebook, and then my link to my Instagram is there. Or you can go to uh, ko underscore and the NDXR Look forward to your journey. Hell of a performance. Thank you very much. And you're Cape Verdean too. I am. Hey, Cape and, Verdean. and I got one more question. Shout and what, what Indian tribe was you representing? I was representing my Seekonk and And I got Blackfoot Asian. tribe. Yeah, I got I'm Seekonk, Wampanoag, Nipmonk, and Cherokee, and I'm also Cape Verdean. I'm a proud, mixed native warrior woman. So. That's real. Yep. All right, so, appreciate you. your time. Beautiful warrior. Good. Proud. Good. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Much. So, I'm sorry, but Mama wants to. She wants to know how you guys doing. Thank you yeah. for updates.
in the bank, though, man.